This is a story of two attempts to bridge the north-south divides in Italy and the UK, as shown by two cars and the factories and people who made them. The cars are the Alpha Sud and the Hillman Imp, and their fate still tells us something about both countries today. In Italy, I think it's fair to say the south has for a long time been economically less developed than the north. Ever since Italian unification in the 1860s, the Italian state has had aspirations to help the south catch up. But that's not to say that everything was brilliant in the north, and Alfa Romeo had first gone bankrupt in the 1920s and been nationalised. It ended up as part of Mussolini's giant state-owned Istituto per la Ricostruzione Industriale Holding Company, or IRI, for Italian industry in the 1930s. It stuck around until 2002, and even as late as 1993, was the seventh largest conglomerate in the world, showing the extent of Italian state control over large parts of the Italian economy until relatively recently. The Italian government of the 1960s was anxious to keep open factories everywhere, and especially in the South. These were the years in which many feared the very large Italian Communist Party would win elections unless drastic action was taken. Alfa Romeo's Pomigliano plant near Naples was developed in 1938 for the production of aero engines, but by the 1960s was producing Renault 4s under licence. Alfa wanted to use the plant for its latest model and, with some Italian government financial support, it redeveloped the factory with the first Alfa Sud produced in 1972. The Alfa Sud was a success, nearly 900,000 were made. It was innovative, being an early example of a hot hatch, although the original version wasn't really a hatchback all that hot. There's a link in the description below to Roads to Life's Alpha Sud video if you would like to know more about the car. Sadly, the Alpha Sud's reputation has been dogged by rust, largely the result of poor practices by inexperienced workers and terrible industrial relations, resulting in frequent strikes which caused production to stop, with steel being left exposed to moisture. Production of the Alpha Sud stopped in 1983 and it was replaced by the Alpha 33. Now this channel is about Italy, and we'll pick up the story at Pomigliano in a moment, but I'm going to say a few words about a British equivalent, the Hillman Imp, made by the Roots Group. First of all, I have to say I don't like this car. A particularly unpleasant teacher I had in my primary school drove a light blue one. Both she and the car had the same frown. Anyway, the Hillman Imp was made at the purpose-built Linwood plant in Scotland. The UK government provided grants and applied political pressure to bring new jobs to an area of high unemployment, as the traditional shipbuilding industry on the River Clyde declined. Everyone was so pleased with the new factory, it was opened by Prince Philip in 1963. The Hillman Imp was innovative too, with an opening rear window, which was a bit like a hatchback, an automatic choke and an aluminium sideways mounted engine. It sold over half a million units. But as with Alpha, the lack of specialist skills and frequent strikes meant the cars suffered from poor build quality, and the hundreds of miles between the plants and the rest of the production network caused further problems. Engine castings made in Linwood had to be transported to Coventry in the Midlands to be assembled, and then taken back to Linwood. In the end, the owners, Roots Group, was sold to Chrysler, who in turn sold it on to Peugeot, who closed the factory in 1981. So what happened to Alfa's Pomigliano factory? Well, what's interesting in all this, apart from the cars themselves, is that in Italy, the factory at Pomigliano is still producing cars for Fiat, who took over Alfa Romeo in 1986. In contrast, the factory at Linwood has gone, along with the jobs, and just a couple of undistinguished offices remain, and a retail park has been built on the site. Now you can interpret all this in one of two ways, that Italy has successfully retained its own mass-produced automobile industry, or that the UK has already accepted the decline and is further along in reshaping its economy for the modern globalised world. I'll leave you to decide on that one. However, whichever view you take of that, I know which car I prefer, the Hillman Imp. No, only kidding, definitely the Alpha Sud. I hope you found this video interesting. Please do subscribe if you would like to see more, and I'll see you soon.